I'm super excited for this haul because it has a lot of really nice pieces that I cannot wait to wear out after this lockdown ends. Um, the problem is I am buying all these clothes and I'm pretty sure everyone who is in lockdown can relate that we are buying all these clothes online that we can't even wear until we can officially get out. The date as of now, again I don't know when this video will be up because I take maybe more than a month sometimes to edit so... Today is the 15th of September and the Freedom Day for Sydney is the 18th of October apparently unless they change that um, from here on out so all we can do is just wait for that date and that's when I'm going to be wearing all these new clothes that I bought. I'm going to show you those today and let's just get right into it. So to start off, it's one of my favourite stores, Glassens. They have really nice pieces, but I did hear that their new collection was kind of a disappointment. Not sure about that, haven't checked it yet. But this is from their older collection and a lot of their pieces were on sale. So I don't think I've bought anything on Glassens that's actually full price because it's bound to go on sale anytime sooner after that. Um, so I have this white halter neck crop that I already have in a tan colour but it is just really nice and you can dress it both up and down I feel. You can wear this like with a skirt or just pants or even sweats. It's just perfect for everything. I feel like it's very nice um, staple to just have in your wardrobe if you have nothing else to wear. And the thing I like this is that the material is really stretchy as well. It doesn't feel very stiff. So it's quite easy to move around in. And as I suggested, I've also worn this on many, many occasions from just like a walk in the park recently to a more formal night out. So the next piece from Glassens I am really excited for because I actually wore this to my vaccination, my first dose of vaccine. You would have seen in my previous vlog, it should be up by now. I wore this shirt and I am so in love with it. I just love how the puffy sleeves and the kind of lower neckline makes it seem a bit more feminine and also the little back detail and the ribbons on the side it just really works well together all of those elements and obviously i got it in the color black i actually don't know if they had any other colors but you guys know black and white probably my favorite colors to wear out because i'm boring i just remember even on my instagram when i was posting all these videos from my vaccine day everyone was like why are you dressed up so nicely i'm like let me have my moment right now i'm going out after months so i want to look good so that's why I wore this. So a, another piece from glasses that I got is this ribbed cardigan kind of thing. And it has these two ribbons in the middle just to hold it together. And I really like the color of it. It's just that really trendy brown. Um, I feel like browns are still in and they won't be going away for a while. The thing about this is you'll see when I try it on as well that there is an opening in the middle. And I'm someone who really likes to wear comfortable bras. So I feel like for this one you obviously have to wear like sticky bras or something that doesn't show anything through the middle. Or you could wear it over a crop top. Um, like I'm wearing now. So I think you could wear it both ways. I think both ways are super cute. The next thing is something that I have been obsessed with for the past week, just lounging around at home. It is this grey crew neck sweater. I didn't even know Glass and Soul these really nice basics, but I am literally so in love. It's that really nice oversized fit and I got this in an XS because I feel like there have been many times where I've tried to get like an S because I wanted it to be oversized but then it ends up being even more oversized because the model of it is already supposed to be oversized if that makes sense. So I just went for the smaller size anyway. I don't even have to say more. I'm in love with it. It's so comfy. It's so cozy. I feel like it'll be really cute with biker shorts as well. I don't own a pair of biker shorts yet and I've been looking around for a piece forever and I've been wanting to get one off Aritzia but then again it is not an Australian site and the shipping is hella expensive to Australia. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for nice biker shorts please let me know because I have been trying to find a really nice pair that I can use 
on the daily and to work out as well. So the last piece that I got from Glasses is actually what I'm wearing right now on the bottom. And another thing I've been loving so much, it's these kind of light beige sweatpants. It's so comfortable. Like literally, I will get up right now and show you, but it's so comfy and I just love how it cinches so nice in the waist yet it still has room to breathe and it has cuffs at the bottom as well which also aren't too tight and it has that breathable space so it kind of gives it a more baggy look. If uni was open I feel like I would literally wear these every day. I recommend this as well. It was on sale as I said for super cheap. I don't remember how much um, but let me just double check actually. It was just so worth the money though. These pants were $30 when I got it. So really good value. Definitely recommend if they still have it in stock. So we're now going to move on to a crowd favorite, Miss Princess Polly. This is my first purchase from them actually, and I only got one thing just because I was trying to suss out the quality um, and all of that. Who doesn't know Princess Polly? I've heard so much from them. A lot of my friends have recommended it too, so I thought why not give it a shot. And of course, I went with the most basic thing ever, literally a black skirt. I actually got this months ago, but um, as I said in the beginning of the video, all the packages came in at different times, so I wasn't able to film until now. But it actually still has a tag on it because I've worn it like once and I didn't even realize. But yeah, Lioness is also a very popular brand, so obviously they sell their things under Princess Polly. And I really like this, like I've only worn it once as I said, and it has a slit on the left side side which is quite flattering it's not amazing in my opinion i think the um quality is really good but it's just you know your basic black skirt and also the zipper is very good quality like you know when you know the zipper's a bit dodgy because it just feels like it might break any second this is the complete opposite of that it's very nice very strong and yeah um i feel like all in all it's a very comfortable skirt and i got this in the size s Next, we have a small package from Charcoal Clothing. Something else I'm really excited about because the backstory behind this was that I actually bought something from them um, a while back for my birthday. You can see over here, this is a dress that I wore from them and I am so in love with it. Um, but I bought two other pieces with that, like a white crop top and like these beige pants. But they both just weren't it for me like I was not satisfied with how they looked on my body and I just I don't know I didn't really like the material either I thought it was quite cheap feeling so I returned it but I don't think they do any um, refunds they only do like an exchange voucher so I waited like a long time for something that I wanted to be in stock um, so I could buy that with that voucher so finally I ended up buying a few things the first thing being this really cute brown bag. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of this brand called Peter and Jane, but it is, yeah, a very popular bag brand that sells bags in all different colors and sizes. This brown, like I am literally so in love with it. I think it's absolutely adorable. And I love the shape of it as well, kind of like a crescent shape. And it also just feels really light, um, which would be perfect to just carry around for a day or night out. And the second and last thing is something I haven't opened yet either. And it's literally the same shade of brown as the bag. I don't care because it's so cute. It's this brown dress kind of thing. Okay, it's a bit crumpled maybe because it's linen obviously. But it is a brown dress, you can see me wearing it. And when I saw this on the model, I was like, I need it right now. I know they sell this in black and white as well. First off, I actually wanted to get the black one. Um, but then it was out of stock in my size, so I wasn't gonna wait. I ended up buying the brown one instead, and I think that might have been even a better decision. So, very glad I got this one, and I also cannot wait to wear this out in the summertime with like a leather jacket or something. I'm just thinking about all the outfits that I'm going to make after this lockdown ends and this is definitely gonna be in one of them. Again, one thing I wanted to wear more after lockdown ends are dresses. Also because I'm kind of happy that lockdown kind of skipped the whole of winter and we were spending winter indoors because I don't like winter personally, like the weather is just not it, it's too cold. Um, you just have to wear so many layers of clothing and it just gets so stuffy, so... As you can tell by these clothes that I have bought and showed you guys so far, a lot of them are very more suited and fitted for summer. 
Last but not least, we have ASOS. Has sales literally every day that my inbox is somehow flooded with all the deals and I get even more tempted <laughs> to buy more. But this time around, I got only three things. So the first one is this pair of shorts. It's a bit different as to something I would buy usually, but I've been really wanting to find a casual pair of shorts that I can wear in the summer as well out. Right now, it has a bit of grey fluff on it because I wore that glass and sweater over it yesterday for a walk and it kind of went everywhere, like the fluff inside the jumper. Um, even though I've already washed the glass and sweater, so I might have to give that another wash. It's these shorts from Dickies, um, and Dickies is obviously a very good quality brand, quite pricey, but again, these shorts were on sale, which is why I got them. It's kind of like the length of like biker shorts, like seven inches, I'm guessing. It cinches again at the waist with this elastic band, and then kind of is more relaxed around it. And it's this kind of chino material. Is that how you say it? Is it chino, kino? Chino? Anyway, it's that kind of material, so it's kind of like what workers, like tradies would wear, um, that kind of vibe. The only thing I would say I don't really like about this is the um, the tie at the front. I feel like I know some shorts, they have like the tie behind the elastic, so it's not um, seeable, but... I feel like these would be really cute with just a sweater, as I said earlier, or even a crop and a cardigan, or something to wear on like a summery night, uh, maybe like over your swimmers. But yes, I cannot wait to wear this hopefully in spring and summer. Next is something I haven't opened yet. It's a white dress that I got from the brand Collusion. Um, and yes, ASOS sells a lot of their clothes on this site. It's basically a small white dress and it has this kind of pleated bottom. I don't know if you see that, kind of like a tennis skirt style. I don't know, I thought it was quite cute and I think, again, it was very cheap, which is why I got it. Actually, much longer than I thought. And the last thing from ASOS is something I'm very excited for. Some new white mules. Ah, I'm so excited for this one because I actually bought a pair of mules from ASOS um, which just didn't fit right. Also the design wasn't really my thing. It had like a little crisscross thing here, like it just wasn't my thing. And it didn't fit well as well, so I returned it because I actually wanted to get these or something similar and they were out of stock at the time. So when I was browsing for those dicky shorts and that white dress, I saw these were back in stock in my size. So I went and made sure I grabbed it. So... I think there was literally only like one left in my size. I'm so excited for these because they are so cute and I had a go um, of wearing them earlier and they're pretty comfy. Obviously I haven't worn it out for a long period of time but as of now they're really comfortable because of the wide fit um, and there's even some space at the back so it's quite the perfect size I think in my opinion. And for heels I don't own many but if I do own them, it has to have a chunky heel because my sense of balance on anything like thinner than this is not the best. Yeah, I don't really like wearing heels in general, so I feel like these are something that I can wear more casually um, and that are more comfortable. So I'm really excited for this one. I cannot wait to wear this, um, even like with jeans that looks so cute and like a dress in the summer. Like even for friends' birthday parties, I feel like sometimes I don't really know what to wear but I feel like these would be perfect, um, again especially in the summertime, that open toe look. So that's it for my haul today, I guess we can call it a spring slash summer haul. I am super excited to wear those pieces out when we can. Um, whenever that time may be because God knows we've been in this lockdown for months now and the numbers aren't seem to get any better the day when I'm filming this again. Let's hope it goes down after that. But yes, I hope you guys are all staying safe and have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video. Bye!